to win a cup or a dominion, it would just be absolutely amazing. It's a race that not many people get the chance to have horses in, and winning it or even getting a place would be phenomenal. I'm really proud of what my parents have been able to achieve. It's something they've always wanted to do. They've worked so hard for it. Everyone else does too, but yeah, it's just amazing to be a small part of it. My first memory of harness racing would have to be when I was about two or three. I used to ride in the gig with Dad um, when Dad would drive Forever Blue um, on the roads and that I'd sit in with him and fall asleep. My goals in the industry is to become a driver. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do since I was a little kid and I'm hoping I can do it. I've currently got my trials license so I've got to have 25 drives and then I'll get my juniors next season. My favourite part of Cut Week would have to be all the build up and excitement for it all. It's completely different to another old meeting, you know, it's just, it's amazing really. You know, to have all the big guns come out to play, the top trainers, top drivers, the Australians, it's all, it's all great. I hope Mumbai goes as good as last season, but it was pretty amazing what he did last season and, you know, he may, he may not do that again, but he's a, he's a brilliant horse and I'm sure he'll be ready to go. He's an arrogant wee horse on and off the track, but he knows he's good and he's definitely proved that he's a force to be reckoned with. We hope Most O'Connor can be as, a, as consistent as last season. He didn't win many races, but he was always there at the finish and tried his hardest and, you know, that's all you can really expect. So, you know, we hope he goes as well. It's obviously going to be a tough challenge because there's a lot of great horses, but, um, you know, we're really happy with how he's come through last season and we're sure he'll, you know, it'll be a great chance in all the major races. He's a sort of horse that's, you know, he's a pleasure to deal with, you know, he's, he's definitely a character and um, on the racetrack he's brilliant to watch. All of this wouldn't be possible without the staff we have. Um, they're all great, um, they always turn up with a smile on their face and um, they're always willing to work. Kerry Estridge has been a major part because he, he shows a lot of top horses. Um, he obviously shows Mark Purden's horses and um, we're lucky enough to have him to show our horses. He definitely knows what he's doing and he's definitely one we can call advice on. Ricky's been great. Um, you know, he's been at the top for so long and he's just, he's a great driver, you know, he's, he's so patient with them. He really cares about the horses he's driving. We're lucky to be able to call on him to drive our horses. Why I think the beach works so well is because it's it's completely different for them. It's completely different to running around a circle. They just get a whole new lease of life and you can just tell they love it. It's a huge part to play to our success. I'm only really a small part to play but I love, you know, doing my part because it's an absolute pleasure to be able to work with those horses and it's something I don't take for granted because a lot of people unfortunately don't get to have those horses. It's absolutely amazing to be able to learn off my parents because they're people that I really admire and you know how they treat horses, how hard they work, being able to learn off them's you know great. They always you know want to see me do well and always help me and there's not more I could ask for really. I'm incredibly thankful for what they've done you know, they've made me who I am today.